hello my beautiful loves welcome to your love reading for cancer sun moon rising and venus signs i hope everyone is safe happy healthy and doing well um guys i'm sorry i haven't been on in the past couple of days i had a, a, a family emergency i had to run to drive to new york drive back it was just like kind of crazy so i'm sorry i haven't uh, been on the past couple of days uh for those of you who are new to the channel my name is gina and this is a cancerian only channel cross watchers are welcome um if you would like to view other sign placements you could go to my man my main channel tarot of light which is in the description box below i have a virgo only channel and a leo only channel uh the links to those are down in the description box below along with my tiktok recommended readers decks you used uh be sure to like share comment subscribe i do a monthly giveaway on this channel actually today's the first goodness um so i'm going to be posting um the winners on the community page today or tomorrow just simply because i i've, I've been so backed up i just got home last night so ju guys just give me till today or tomorrow to post the winners um what else uh just hashtag in the comment section below what you would like to win in the description box. You will see um, a list of everything that I give away. Okay, you'll see a list of everything that I give away. My phone number is below for personal readings. All right, let's get popping. We're going to start with, uh, ooh, which just popped out there. That came flying out. We've got the hermit in the reverse. Interesting. All right, so we're going to start with some uh, tarot, guys, and then we'll get into the oracle. So the hermit in the reverse someone here has come to a conclusion about something someone here needed some time to think about something and they have found the answer or either that or someone here is unwilling to really um like someone's unwilling to truly analyze the situation their behavior this you know what i'm saying someone here's like a like a like a wall it's like talking to a wall so one of those two things are happening. So let's see here. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, we've got the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra Energy, the Moon card, Cancer, Piscean Energy, the sun leo energy the chariot cancerian energy and the eight of wands okay so cancer on this side we have communication coming in here okay someone maybe either had a decision to make or someone here is choosing to do the right thing. We have temperance under the deck. Someone here wants to balance out the scales. They want forgiveness. This could also be an indication here, Sagittarian energy, that someone here, um, that, that the divine is getting involved. Your angels, your guides are getting involved. Now, this communication is somebody coming forward knowing what the right thing is, you know, especially with that Herman in the reverse that we saw. It's someone here that's thought about it and they know what the best decision is. With the sun and the moon card here, I feel like... I feel like it could be what was hidden is coming to light here, or perhaps maybe someone is, was confused and they're seeing things clearly now. The problem here is cancer. The problem here is is that we've got this 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 nine of pentacles energy this is someone single this is someone abundant this is someone very independent okay now it could be cancer that someone here is feeling the need to protect themselves with that queen of swords energy this could be two different people it could either be two different people or the Queen of Swords could be the energy that the Nine of Pentacles here, pre empress energy, is taking on. So it could be that someone here is not trusting someone or it could be that someone here possibly had to choose between this Queen of Swords and this Nine of Pentacles. Now, guys, gender doesn't matter in tarot. So this could be two men, two women, one woman, one man, okay? Um, I feel like someone here has, like the light bulb has gone off. The, the light, yeah, see, the Knight of Cups under Temperance. There may be someone here that's wanting to apologize. Let's see. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. What is this communication about? Three of Cups. Cancer, this, this is someone who possibly wants to reunite. With the Chariot here, well, we've got the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Someone here wants a new beginning, Cancer. Someone here wants to reunite. We've got the High Priestess and the, the Chariot, Cancer Piscean Energy. Um, 
Yeah, Cancer, someone here is, is realized their intuition is telling them what the right decision is. <clears throat> They're telling them what the right decision is. Tell me about the Sun card. What is the Sun card? Three of Swords. Tell me about the Sun card and the Three of Swords and the world. There was a truth that has come out. Someone here is seeing the truth about something. It could possibly be about a third party or whatever it is. The truth broke this person's heart. And with the world card, they're, they're, yeah, they're, someone here is closing out a cycle. Tell me about the moon card. We've got the hermit in the upright here. So Cancer, someone here, is, there was an illusion here. Someone here lied. A truth was held back from somebody. Okay, a truth was held back from someone. And now I feel like someone here is waking up to that painful truth. Tell me about this Queen of Swords, please. The Eight of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Ooh. And the Lovers. Cancer, so with the Eight of Swords, you could be dealing with someone that's in prison, but someone here now doesn't trust the situation. Someone here feels they have it in their head that someone's up to something, that, that someone's up to, someone here is not trusting. The Lover's card is a very strong soul tie. It's a very strong love card. The problem is the Lover's card and the traditional Rider weight is supposed to be Adam and Eve, and then there's the Snake Tempting. Okay, so something has happened here. Something has happened here where I feel that someone is, is scared that someone is being tempted by an outside person. Someone here is scared that someone they love is being tempted by an outside person. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles pre Empress energy. We've got Temperance, Sagittarian energy again. And we've got the Knight of Cups. This pre-Empress energy is getting uh, is getting the apology. Five of Wands. Five of Wands. I feel like this Queen of Swords fears this pre-Empress energy. Because this pre-Empress energy is getting the apology. And I feel like the truth is coming out about the Queen of Swords. The truth is coming out about the Queen of Swords. Yeah. So, so I feel that like someone here is about to get some heartbreaking news and there, and an apology is coming to the pre-empress here. Five of wands. There's going to be a big fight here. It could be that this queen of swords is very jealous or upset. Tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Tell me about cancer here. We've got the queen of cups, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and we have the seven of cups. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer. The magician in the reverse and the two of wands. So cancer, this is the side of the person that's giving the apology. The person that's coming in with the apology is finding out something about the queen of swords coming towards the pre-empress energy. I feel like this is the side of the pre-empress. This is somebody that gave a tremendous amount of love. This is someone that gave a tremendous amount of love. This is somebody that really cared. This is someone that had empathy, love, and affection for someone. And with the Magician and the Seven of Cups, this person was taken for granted. This person was being emotionally manipulated. With the Two of Wands here, um, maybe this Queen of Cups energy had no idea. Maybe this, pre I feel like the Queen of Cups and the pre Empress is the same person. Um, I, someone here was offering money, love, abundance. You know, Nine of Pentacles is generally well off financially or at least independent in some way shape or form this person was put in a third party two of wands someone here was dealing with two people the queen of swords and the the empress here tell me about cancer please sun moon rising venus we've got page of pentacles in the reverse capricorn taurus virgo energy and the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Someone here lied, Cancer. Someone here lied about wanting a new beginning. Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Cups. Someone here lied. 
someone here lied about, you know, wanting to move in, wanting a future, wanting a new beginning here. Yeah, someone here lied. And I feel like it's because they were dealing with two people and they didn't know who to choose. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Nine of Wands. Yeah, see, the Queen of Cups was very hurt here with that Nine of Wands. The Queen of Cups is now very defensive and untrusting of a situation. The Queen of Cups has had enough here. And again, I feel that with the with the uh, Queen of Cups and the Empress here, someone here, um, they were under the illusion with the Seven of Cups that with the Hierophant, there was higher levels of commitment here. Taurus Energy. Tell me about... The Magician in the Reverse. We've got the Hanged Man. Piscean Energy. I feel like someone here for a long time, they had a feeling that they were being manipulated. And now, uh, again, that light bulb is, is going off. A truth is coming out. Two of Wands and the Two of Cups. Seven of Wands and the Five of Cups. So what's happening here, guys, with the Two of Wands, I feel that someone here was envisioning a future possibly with somebody. Okay. Um, but with the seven of wands and the five of cups, this person is be was being pushed away. This person was being hurt. This person is now, you know, this queen of cups is now looking at all the wrong that's being done to them. And not only that cancer, but with the two of wands, there's two people here. So someone here needs to choose who they want to be with. And with the seven of wands and the five of cups, I feel like you're dealing with someone here that doesn't want to. They're dealing with a lot of pain and remorse because they don't want to have to choose. They don't want to have to choose. Tell me about this ace of wands in reverse. The empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy, and the page of pentacles in the reverse to the queen of wands. So Cancer, here's what we're dealing with here. This pre-empress energy, this queen of cups energy is dealing with, you know, at empress level, this person, this pre-empress felt that they were in a relationship. They thought they were in a relationship, but with the ace of wands, um, number one, they're not the only one. And number two, uh, there is going to be like, it was lies. There is no new beginning. There is no passion here. Now I see a queen of wands and an empress. I could also say here, cancer, and I know this is going to be a rough thing to say, but there is no lust here. There is no passion for the Empress. With this Queen of Wands energy, I feel like someone here finds someone else more attractive, okay? Could be a younger person, but this person is lying to two people. You have someone here that's lying to an Empress and someone here that's lying to the Queen of Wands. This Empress and this Queen of Wands are in the upright. So there's two people here that are in genuine relationships with somebody that is lying to both people. Okay, with somebody that is lying to both people. Yep, that's the case. Now, I feel like a truth is going to come out about one of these people. A truth is going to come out about this Queen of Wands. And I feel like this Preempress is going to come in and get an apology. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Maybe, maybe Cancer, did you find out? I don't know. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It could be Cancer that you found out about the third party and they're realizing here that they need to make a choice now between you and the third party. Um, I feel like you could possibly offer more than the third party. You know, someone here seems to be more abundant than the third party. Um, so someone here may be getting chosen simply because they're at Empress level, even though this person wants to stay with the Queen of Wands. Or it could be that someone found out a truth about the Queen of Wands and is now moving towards the Empress. Okay, let's see here. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I don't know. Something's telling me to pull four from this one. I don't know why. Skeletons in the closet. Yeah, someone here is hiding something big. 
Someone here is hiding something big, Cancer. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, let's see here. Let's see what we got. The lady and the stork. The number 29 or 17 may mean something to you. Someone here may have gotten pregnant or become pregnant. Or someone here could possibly just want a new beginning. I just picked up on something, Cancer. I feel like the Queen of Swords slash Queen of Wands may have perhaps cheated on your person and gotten pregnant by someone else or they got someone else pregnant. Just putting it out there. So, so it could, you know what I'm saying? So your person may be finding out that this other third party, this Queen of Swords, I mean, depends where you stand, Cancer. You could be the Queen of Wands slash Queen of Swords, or you could be the Empress. But I feel like they're finding out that someone got pregnant or that someone is pregnant again, okay? Or something along those lines, but the baby's not theirs. Um, official person and, and sudden wealth, 22 and 11, 11. With official person and sudden wealth, I feel like someone here is gonna make the person that has the most money their official person because I feel like the person that they're attracted to and the person that they want is it may possibly either a truth is going to come out about this person and I feel like the truth is is that someone here may be pregnant second chance mending uh, making amends opportunity and plans and we've got pride ego arrogance and stubborn love so now someone here is going to have to lower their pride cancer they're going to have to lower their pride and come towards this pre-empress energy again because it didn't work out with that other person. We've got Ice King. Someone here's yeah, someone here's cold. The energy is gaining momentum. Cancer, I feel like I feel like, you know, the connection between you and this person is cold, has gone cold. Maybe you felt the need to defend yourself, but the energy is gaining momentum here. Something is coming back around. Uh, we've got happy family, the number four may mean something to you, and deception, the number seven. I feel like someone here thought that they were going to have a future with somebody, but someone here was deceptive. I feel like someone here is going to find out that a third party has a, that the third party, she, I don't even want to say third party. You know why I don't want to say third party? Because I feel like this person has two full-blown relationships with someone else. You know what I'm saying? That That's what I'm feeling. There are two relationships. So who's to say who's the third party and who isn't? They've got two full-blown relationships with someone else. And I feel like they're about to find out some gossip, specifically gossip, because you see how someone's whispering in someone's ear. People are talking about it. Oh, the baby ain't his. Oh, that baby daddy. That's not the baby daddy. That's not the child's fight. You know, someone here, no, <clears throat> someone here knows something. Someone, people are gossiping about the truth and, it, and it's going to come back to somebody, okay? We've got twin flame secrets and deception. So this could be a twin flame journey that you're on, Cancer, but someone here is holding on to some major, major secrets. We've got loyal heart, number 35. Yes, someone here thought someone was loyal, but there's deception. There is deception. And I feel like it's your person with this Queen of Wands energy, uh, Queen of Swords energy. Someone here is about to go cold on the Queen of Wands because it could be that they found out that they're cheating or that they're actually pregnant or impregnated somebody, okay? We've got camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, and make memories. So, Cancer, I feel like now someone is thinking about the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. Now someone's thinking about you. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Yeah, there's a friend that's going to come in and tell someone, listen, that baby ain't yours. Listen, this person's cheating. Someone here is about to find out through the grapevine. 
Someone's about to find out a truth through the grapevine. We've got imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. So someone here is about to get some very unwanted news. And what's going to happen is this person's going to say, you know what? I don't even want to think about this anymore. I just want love and, and uh, in my life. And they, they're going to open up their heart to new possibilities here. Cancer, I feel like I feel like it's your energy. I feel like you were hurt a lot in a situation, and the, that's because this person had a whole nother situation going on here. And I feel like someone here is about to find out a truth. Movement through rough currents, movements towards peace, spotlight, attention, and recognition, and beauty, perfectly imperfect in each and every way. So I I feel here, Cancer, that someone wants to move towards you. They're, they're giving you that attention. They're recognizing the fact that, you know, they see you as beautiful. They see you, they're starting to see even your imperfections as beautiful. Okay. So, and that's because this person <clears throat> is, they're starting to realize your worth, but because they were hurt by this third party. So let's see here. Distorted feminine or masculine karmic. I was blind. I'm sorry. Paternity or DNA, DNA test needed. Someone here possibly got a third party pregnant. Abortion or miscarriage, end of pregnancy. Look at that cancer. Your person got a third party pregnant or got impregnated by a third party. Okay, someone here may have asked for a DNA test or a paternity test and they decided to abort the child. They decided to abort the child because the child wasn't th theirs. Because the child wasn't theirs. And I feel like now your person's coming back to you saying, I was blind. I'm so sorry, I was so blind. Someone here was dealing with a distorted feminine or masculine. Someone here was dealing with a distorted feminine or a distorted masculine. Or another thing here is, is that, yeah, someone here, yeah, someone here got pregnant by someone else and I feel like, uh, and I feel like it wasn't your person. Now it could be that they ended the, the, you know, the, the pregnancy, um, shadow work here, impatient, look for. Look for patterns of your impatience. Notice the negative physical symptoms it causes you. Take deep breaths and slow down. Cancer, you were getting very hurt here. You were becoming very impatient here. And I feel like you're starting to realize that, you know, I can't do this anymore. I have to pull away. I can't do this anymore. I have to pull away. So Cancer, we're going to take it into the extended. I want to find out about this pre empress energy that I want to find out about your energy, this apology that's coming towards you, what the outcome is going to be. Should you even take the apology? What will happen if you take it? What, are, what will happen if you leave it? Will you find new love? And I want to find out what's going on between your person and this third party. And if that's over for good and if that's over for good. Okay, so the link for the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. I will see you guys there. I love you so very much. Bye, my loves.